No, what's funny is that this guy recently recently made a response to my video, and his name is Extra Plays, right? And he's like stacks a lot of butt buddy essentially, right? And it's one of yeah. the dumbest fucking responses I've ever seen in my life. And I'm actually making a working on doing your commentary and a commentary on it, and I'm not even gonna. If he and he says that he might do a commentary on a commentary on a commentary, I'm like, dude, at that point you're fucking autist. Like a commentary on a commentary is already stupid. But Oh boy, this uh, this drama sure is spicy. Uh, how do you think I should approach it, uh, Professor Katoonster, my new on-starring guest? I took physics, chemistry, calculus two last semester, and while everybody else fails those classes individually, I got a solid A on all of them. Yeah. You get it? It's like the thing Chris Raygun does, while also acting as an elongated fuck you to the YouTuber in question. Alright, so I ain't, I ain't gonna play no fool. I knew full well what I was uh, getting myself into when I made that video in question, and as a result, I knew, I knew that he would respond with, um, some sort of half-ass response video where 90% of the video is just a still image of a fucking frog. I mean, after all, he does seem like the type of guy to bathe in all the drama and hype around these videos. But what I wasn't expecting was for him to hype up his response for weeks on end, shit talk me endlessly on Twitter for a short amount of time, only for us to engage in a semi-half-assed livestream on both our ends, and then finally uh, quit YouTube and leave this response as the last trace that even existed at all. In case you can't already tell, a surprising amount of shit has occurred within the last time I attempted to tackle the subject matter. So much so, that by this point, one might even make the case that this whole shit isn't even relevant anymore. And hey, they're not technically wrong. But within the last month of all this turmoil, I've had a lot of time to reflect on what's taken place. And even though it's not exactly relevant anymore, I still find the scenario awfully curious. Fact is, the case just isn't closed. We might have moved onwards since then, but there's still loose ends that need to be tied. We might have continued on from this mysterious departure, but there's still one more document that to this day begs to be reviewed for closure's sake. So here's what I'm proposing to YouTube. iDubbbz has his content cop, Monkey Jones has his monkey cop. So for the first time ever, ladies and gentlemen of this uh, infamous platform, I present to you, Detective Cap. What we do here is go back, 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 back. I'm just fucking with you. Let's just let's just get on with this bitch of a video already. Got my finger on the trigger. I'm a project baby, a free lunch fella, and I'm hungry every minute. If this stomach weed smoke can't fill it, if you don't listen to me, I can fly to the building. Need to listen to the children and the weapons they can steal it. To the voices of a million when I sell my first million, I am bound to go diamond. Ain't no luck or surprises. I am Janet on an island. I can feel the pressure, but I. Alright, so to fully understand the context of 
this video, I recommend checking out uh, the two videos that precede it. You see, this is only the third part of a of a three slash four part epic saga that's been accumulating uh, on this website for the past month. The two videos I recommend checking out before this one, if you haven't already, is Katoonster's original video on Stax Lottle, which has been re-uploaded several times, and my video calling out Katoonster for his video. Essentially, what I'm going to be doing today is uh, responding to Katoonster's vowels, as we'll call it, considering he pretty much quit right after releasing this onto the public. However, there is a slight catch. Because he attempted to deconstruct my video to such a degree that he literally reviews every single minute of it, which I'm honored, mind you. I'm going to leave out some points he discusses that I don't feel are significant to the narrative or the discussion he's attempting to create with this epitaph. I will leave a Google Doc link to this document in the description if you ever feel the need to look at it yourself, but I legitimately do consider some of these points to be the most useless information or pointless comebacks he, he could have responded with. So, with all that out of the way, let us look over Katoonster's final words as he rests. An interesting thing to look at before we even get started on responding to the document itself is just the fact that he immediately starts the video off trying to refute a point I made, which is quite comical to me. I mean, he, he doesn't introduce himself, he doesn't introduce me, he doesn't even provide at least a sliver of context, and I find that to be somewhat important to bring up right off the bat because, as I discussed in my last video, these are traits that Katoonster is constantly exhibiting throughout this saga of shit. He is indirectly proving my point from my previous video right from the get-go, so if there's nothing else to say, I'll at least thank him for doing my job for me. Introducing the one, the only, Professor Katoonster. Professor, on the other hand, is a YouTuber who has never exactly stayed consistent with the content he's created. Yeah, that's true, because the channel you were talking about is my second channel that I made in case my main channel ever got false flagged, which, spoilers, it did. So of course I wouldn't be consistent in making videos in that channel since I got false flagged, and why should I? Woo lad, the, the timestamps on this is already a fucking train wreck. He points to the first minute and 50 seconds of my video, but the issue with that is the fact that I wasn't even finished with the point I was trying to make by the time you would have cut me off in your own video had you have made this a video. Alright, so that's already a, a, a major red fucking flag there. The fact that you're not even willing to let me finish my point is a quite scary to say the least. Not on my behalf, but because doing so is a very easy way to completely miss the point of my argument to begin with. And I know that to be a fact, because right after he says that, he states, It's funny because you get onto me for supposedly not doing context to the viewer, and you later on criticize me for supposedly not doing any research on the topic I'm critiquing, when you made this abysmal point that could have easily been answered if you watched a video I made on the matter that you even showcased in your video. Because of this, I will assume intent on your end, and I will assume that you are just a two-faced liar who is deliberately hiding the context to try to make my channel look worse than it is. Hey, Kevin, you realize that in order to make an argument against someone, you have to actually state the point you're arguing against in your first place, right? Otherwise, you'd be making assumptions over arguments that I never made, which is slapstick levels of hilarity right there, folks, because throughout this entire document, he's accusing me of doing the exact same thing that he's doing himself right now. I never at one point in my video said it was a bad thing that you upload videos inconsistently. I never even implied it, and you'd know that if you just continued the same clip that you so rudely interrupted. Introducing the one, the only, Professor Katoonster. Professor, on the other hand, is a YouTuber who has never exactly stayed consistent with the content he's created. Introducing the one, the only, Professor Katoonster. Professor, on the other hand, is a YouTuber who has never exactly stayed consistent with the content he's created, but 
unlike Stax Lottl, either painfully misses the mark on nearly every aspect of Stax's videos, or all of his arguments are entirely comprised of his emotions and show a blatant disregard and disrespect for the viewer. Literally six seconds after you cut me off, I go into discussing the actual problems with the video itself. Do you honestly believe that anyone is capable of creating propaganda against you in an attempt to make you look bad within the span of six seconds? Are you that unaware of human capabilities? Katoonster also can't grasp basic fucking English. Uh, j just trying to decode this whole thing first argument he's making is like circumcising yourself with a box of nails and nothing else. It's funny because you get onto me for supposedly not providing context to the viewer and you later on criticize me for not supposedly doing any research on the topic I'm critiquing when you made this abysmal point that could have easily been answered if you watched a video I made on the matter that you even showcased in your video. If I didn't know what some of his arguments were going into this document, I'd have no idea what the fuck he's even talking about here. You dismiss the criticism I made of you by simply saying that my point was abysmal, nothing else, and then follow that up by saying that my abysmal point could be answered? As if I was questioning you in the first place? Not only does he try to pose my argument as some sort of question by implying it can be answered, he later says that could have easily been answered if you watched a video I made on the matter that you even showcased in your video. Like. Like, ex excuse me? I only showcased one video on my video on him. That being the Stack Slottle video that brought him into this whole shithole in the first place. I know I did as such, because I didn't check out any of his other videos going into the Stack Slottle video. So, there isn't anything else I could have showcased anyways. So not only is he posing my argument as some sort of question, he's also posing his video as a different video entirely while not providing any context as to what the fuck he's even talking about? I can only assume this is all a grammatical error to the highest degree, because I have no way of believing someone who is capable of passing calculus chemistry, and all that other shit with straight A's could possibly fuck up this bad when it came to basic English. Okay, so uh, now let us get on to the bigger point of what I believe Katoonster was trying to say. Now, I don't know what exactly he was trying to say myself, I wasn't in his head while he was uh, typing out the script, so this is purely anecdotal, but considering how he goes on to call me a two-faced liar who is deliberately hiding the context to try to make my channel look worse than what it actually is, I'm assuming he's talking about the fact that I didn't dive into the context of Katoon's lore as a YouTuber as opposed to Stax Lottle. And I can understand where one might think that's that's a shady thing to practice, but if you believe that, then uh, I believe that you didn't put much thought into the video itself and the subject matter it was fixated on. You see, the video was never about Katoonster, or Mega Duke TV, or Ultimate Ranter, or whatever the fuck he wants to go by. It was about two things! Stax Lottle and Katoon's video on Stax Lottle. Crazy, isn't it? Acting as if he was ever uh, even a variable in the situation at all is silly to me, because while I did make some lighthearted jabs towards Katoons, they weren't supposed to act as actual arguments. Tis the reason that in my first point I make, the same point that you so happen to press the pause button on mid-observation, I skipped past talking about your channel because it was irrelevant. Skipping ahead a couple lines, he makes the claim that he's seen seven of Stax's videos to refute my belief that he didn't. Which, it's possible that he did actually watch Stax's content, but I'm gonna call bullshit no matter what, because his arguments on Stax's video were either so general that they can be seen at literally any point of the video, or they only pertain to the first 20 seconds to a minute of Stax's videos. It honestly doesn't matter what you claim. If you look like you don't know what you're talking about, or you don't bother to include any context, people are going to call you out. This is a community that takes some attributes from the original slideshow commentary community and the leafy is here commentary community. Now this is a very interesting topic to begin on because it signifies two key clues on how this video plays out. One, his constant refusal to provide context, and two, his complete unawareness of the community he's critiquing in the first place. This is evident through the fact that he starts off the video by stating that the New Wave commentary community is inspired by the Leafy is Here community. Here's the thing though, Leafy is a content creator known for his toxicity and constant insistence to prematurely insult another creator or community without the self-awareness to see that the fundamental flaws of these insults on their own 
don't work as legitimate arguments, which he very frequently performed when he was still active in the community, mind you. And as far as I'm aware, most of these other content creators who are also closely affiliated with Stax Lottle and who have proclaimed themselves to be a part of this community don't share those same attributes. First of all, I never said that your community was inspired by the Leafy is Here commentary community. I said that your community takes attributes from the Leafy is Here commentary community. Oh boy, this this point is a real doozy for sure. Uh, there's no fucking doubt about that. Your community takes attributes from the Leafy is Here community because you guys focus on more mainstream feuds slash dramas from bigger YouTubers on this site. This is evident considering your community loves to obsess over the storytime animation community for some retarded reason, and that community is quite possibly one of the biggest communities on the YouTube uh, platform at the moment. Another attribute you take from the Leafy's here community is your editing. Firstly, there is no Leafy community in the first place, which is why I assumed you were referring to the creator Leafy himself. Like, there is a fan base. Don't misinterpret, but Leafy did not create an entire fucking genre or community labeled the Leafy community. Secondly, and most importantly, because you guys focus on more mainstream feud slash drama from bigger YouTubers on this website? Excuse me, but... We are talking about Leafy, right? Sure, Leafy did talk about drama and other mainstream YouTubers from time to time, but he was never really known for that. Like, does anyone honestly even remember the whole H3H3 versus Leafy drama? Are we gonna even refer to iDub's content cop as drama? Leafy is remembered on this site for bullying children, handicapped people, and cam girls. Now, I'm not trying to morally shame anyone here. It's the internet, and they can do whatever the hell they want on it with their own content. But acting as if Leafy was ever known for making content that people barely remember him by, no less create a community around him specifically, instead of calling it what it is, which is just the rant slash commentary community, makes you look like a complete dumbass who has no idea what he's talking about. If you don't believe me, let's directly compare Leafy's content to Stax Lottle's content. Now if we look at Exhibit A over here, that being Leafy's content, it takes about 19 videos counting from his latest release to even include another big YouTuber in the title, that being PewDiePie. Everything else is either talking about cam girls or is talking about dumbass children on the internet. Now I don't know about you, but 20 videos is a long span of time to be talking about something that you're uh, supposedly known for. In contrast, it takes one, count it, one video, uh, counting from Stax's recent release, to get to a video talking about a big YouTuber. Kevin also talks about the editing being high quality, but I don't fucking care because editing doesn't define a community by any means. Editing in the context of post-production is just editing. Now, if we're referring to editing on a general scale, like what I've discussed in a previous video, sure, you can make that claim, but I highly fucking doubt that's what he means if he can't even format his arguments in a cohesive manner. Like, I wouldn't even be surprised if he wrote out this script using the fucking alphabet soup. Today I'm gonna be making this video to announce my official retirement. Oh, sorry there, buddy. I, I, I wasn't referring to you. I was referring to this terrible script. No worries. If you guys don't know who he is, basically, he is a new wave fag commentator who makes a video shitting on other YouTubers. Now this is another essential moment to identify in this video. Not only does he show an obvious disregard to understand the community, but he also shows a painful misunderstanding of Stax Lottle himself. Painting Stax as someone who shits on other YouTubers would be to infer that Stax is a YouTuber who makes negative commentary. It's important to note that Stax does not make negative commentary, he makes critical commentary. You don't have to like his content, that's perfectly fine, but to paint him as if he's anything other than what he's already established himself as is just dumb and holds no place in the discussion. When I say shitting on YouTubers, I mean that he makes videos critiquing other people on the internet. And what What's funny is that I even bring up a possible counter-argument in my video on how even though Stax's videos are supposed to be uh, constructive, they are painfully boring videos to sit through and that's not an excuse. This shows that yeah, I know that Stax Lottle doesn't make negative commentary and I even make that clear in the video. Actually, no Katoonster, it doesn't fucking work that way. You can't just say something and then go on to contradict your own claim in your own video and play it off as if it's justified because 
you said it. The sad thing is, he really could have just deflected this by saying it was a passive claim, because it really was, and it was something dumb to point out in the first place on my behalf, because it was very obviously a comment he didn't think over at all. But what's worse, the fact that I highlighted and argued against a meaningless phrase, or the fact that I am now doing Katoonster's job for him by arguing on his behalf against myself? How fucking pathetic is it that I have to step in and help direct the audience of what Katoonster's trying to talk about whenever that was his actual actual one job within his own video or document in this case. He can't even get that one thing correct. I'm doing the dirty work on both our ends for fuck's sake. And then he later goes on in this document to state, and guess what? This retard doesn't show the clip in question, which is basically him ignoring context. You know, the same thing he wants to criticize me for? Hmm, I wonder why. Ex fucking excuse me, Kevin. Can we hold off on the brakes for a second? Because this is probably the biggest fucking stretch of landmass you could have made in your video. No fucking wonder these arguments and videos are so randomly strung out and spoken in the least cohesive way possible. Kevin is so blind in regards to formatting videos and displaying counterclaims that I'd rather me interrupt the entire pacing of the video and alienate everybody watching by randomly showing a clip of him at the very end of his video rather than use the video to build up to that argument. What a fucking joke! Holy shit, okay. Alright, we gotta calm down for a second. We gotta use a stress ball, people. Use a stress ball. Hell, if we take a look at his channel, you will instantly see the mental retardation. Like, what the fuck is this? Tim Tom, Jaded Animation, Speechy? Seriously, why do so many of these new wave fag commentators make videos on people like the odd ones out in Jaded Animations? Look, I get that it is a pretty autistic community, but is but it, it isn't interesting whatsoever to talk about, right? It's a fucking boring shithole of a community. Like, what, what else is there to say? Well, gee, I don't know. What more is there to say about this community? Well, uh, thankfully, we have the answer in the form of Stax Lottel. In fact, that's the main appeal of his content in the first place. I don't know how you missed the mark that much. He provides a uh, lovely list of videos in which he discusses aspects of these careers that aren't usually discussed or even talked about. And if they are frequently discussed, he's able to go more in depth with those arguments because he makes individual videos on separate careers, leaving in a lot of leeway for each video to expand upon the last. I never said that Stax Lottle didn't bring anything new to the table. That wasn't what my point was. My point was that the story time animation community in terms of actual content are retards who make the same type of generic shitty videos and therefore obsessing over this dipshit community is so fucking autistic and stupid. Like what, what else is there to say? You're either fucking terrible at communicating your points or you're so fucking stupid that you forget what you're even saying half the time. I think the phrase here that really hurts him in this case is the phrase, what else is there to say? Because in that statement, you're directly posing the question, what more is there to talk about within the context of the story time animation community? And in my video, I provided an answer to that question. Nothing you can say can defend you here because you show such a terrible disregard for not only what I'm talking about, but what you're talking about in your own video. I mean, for fuck's sake, let's look at the list of new points that Stax brings up in his videos. Discuss the stagnation? Yeah, because it's not like you can apply that to literally every fucking YouTuber on this website, am I right? The same shit applies to the the importance of maintaining an identity and the importance of consistency. These are not traits specific to the story time animation community, therefore it doesn't help your case at all. <sighs> I'm gonna I'm gonna level with you guys for a second. I'm gonna be real fucking I I'm just gonna get on your level for a moment. Do I honestly, genuinely need to even defend myself here? I mean, Jesus fucking Christ, I never at any point in time said Stax Lottle is different or creative because these issues only pertain to the story time animator community. This is just some weird narrative that you've tacked on to me. I shouldn't have to spell this out because you're a full grown fucking adult, but I was saying he goes over these themes within his videos for individual careers and because of that, he's able to build up upon new ideas within every video he creates. I am not hailing Stax Lala as being the only person to ever talk about stagnation, nor am I saying stagnation is an issue that only pertains to story time animators. 
How fucking stupid are you? Now, I don't want to stoop down to uh, his level by making broad assumptions in a frail attempt to make me look bad, but I am seriously questioning if Katoonster is really this dumb when it comes to t intaking opposing views, or if he is intentionally twisting my words to make his own narrative. Now, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, mostly because I have actually talked to him one-on-one, -on -one, and he does seem like a pretty respectful guy on his own uh, when he's not making videos. But you're really tiptoeing a line there, and it's making you look shady as hell. Once again, you don't have to like what you're watching, but acting as if he isn't bringing anything new to the table, or isn't saying anything valuable, is just intellectually dishonest. I mean, just look at how most of these creators respond to these videos. That shows that people are very obviously taking his voice seriously to some extent. Yeah, and when did I ever say that they aren't? I find it hilarious that you get on me for being intellectually dishonest, yet you try to refute a point I haven't even made. And if your excuse is, well, I wasn't really making a counter argument, I was just saying that people enjoy watching his videos, then that's, com that's a completely pointless statement to make because I never said that they are not, and I don't give a damn if they are. The Storytime Animation community is a community that I obviously have negative opinions on, why would I care if they like his shitty content? It's just one brainless, pandering idiot liking another brainless, pandering idiot's content. I wasn't claiming that you were saying that nobody takes his content seriously. I was expanding upon the concept that he does have validity in what he's saying, which in turn provides meaning to these videos on their own basis. In your original video, you are acting as if there is nothing else to talk about in regards to the Storytime Animator community. I refuted this by claiming that Stax Lala provides more points and is capable of going more in depth with these points due to the way he formats his arguments, and then to further cement this concept into your head that Yes, there can be more to talk about. I know that creators acknowledge him on the platform, which shows that it is not only meaningful in terms of the audience he's appealing towards, but that it's also meaningful towards the creators themselves. I'm not going to say anything else about it because I was never at any point during the segment accusing Katoonster of doing anything, and I think he's I think he's just trying to stir shit just to stir shit at this point so I don't fucking care. Skipping ahead a little bit, he also acknowledges that I criticize him for acting high and mighty. I'm not going to acknowledge it that much because he doesn't really say anything about it. He just scripts his own laughter at the thought of someone making this argument about him. But I will say this. A direct quote from this part reads, Can I get one retard who doesn't refer to this argument for once? Katoonster, if you are constantly getting this argument everywhere you go, it means it's probably your fault and not everyone else's. If everyone else is seeing this trait of you and you are not seeing this trait of you, then you need to re-correlate your perspective of yourself. I wouldn't even mind you being such an arrogant little shit if you actually knew what you were talking about, but I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. Let's, d let's dive back into the current issues of the document. And of course, Katoonster made three individual parts discussing the overanalyzing segment because he never knows when to let someone else speak without interrupting them. So I'm going to be going over all three of these segments. What really gets to me is that this guy actually decides to take the time to overanalyze each of these idiots. This is probably the first actual claim he's made and it's it's a pretty dumb one at that. Essentially he's claiming that Stax overanalyzes these creators. Well, okay then, uh, let us discuss what overanalyzing refers to in the first place. After all, that is the best way to understand something. It's to discuss it and, and analyze, analyze it. Well, since he doesn't provide any insight to what overanalyzation is, let me discuss with you what I believe overanalyzing is. Overanalyzation is a constant attempt to inflate a minor point and making it out to be a much bigger issue than what it actually is. Things like your own taste in humor. The, the quote-unquote jokes he tries to do. <laughs> the, the jokes <laughs> calling them jokes is uh <laughs> it's very uh your own taste and content but is but it, it isn't interesting whatsoever to talk about right it's a fucking boring shithole of a community and, and so, maybe maybe throwing something about his avatar there and i don't want to hear this bullshit of well this guy has animation in his videos and his editing is good what a hard-working youtuber Nah, fuck off. You fucking get the point. You you know what I'm getting at. Yeah, because pointing out issues I have with some retard's content is definitely what overanalyzing is. In your words, yes. I mean, Stax Lyle was only pointing out the issues that he had with someone else's content. Therefore, if you call that to be overanalyzing, then yes, 
That's exactly what you're doing under your own prescribed definition. The second segment is referring to whenever Stax Lottle was making an obvious observation over Tim Tom's presentation. Reminder that this was the clip that Katoonster used to define overanalyzation. But throughout the rest of 2016, he would upload a second and third video, which all had similar characteristics. The videos would be rather short, the art was very minimal, and the character was super simplistic. The backgrounds would be almost non-existent, outside of a few blurry PNGs here and there, but that was rather rare. And his rebuttal to me saying that this was a case of obvious observation is that, and those observations were pointless and a waste of time to drag out his shitty video, which is what my fucking point is. But you don't seem to understand that whatsoever. The clip you used is about 13 seconds long. If you can't handle a brief 13 second long observation over the presentation of a YouTuber, then why are you trying to call me a hypocrite earlier for saying that I didn't provide context to your channel? These things don't add up that well. It's like on one hand you want more, but on the other hand you want less. And I know what you may be thinking. Xro, he was calling you out earlier for your hypocrisy. He wasn't advocating for more explanation. Okay, so basically what you've described to me is, uh, is a man who will make an argument that he doesn't even fully agree with or believe in. Oh my god. <sighs> Finally, he addresses this small jab. These weren't cases of overanalyzation, this was a case of obvious observation. I bet you all of my rent that if I were to point out a ladybug in, in front of this guy and say, that ladybug's red and has black spots on it, he'd immediately follow that up with, dude, no, stop. Dude, you're overanalyzing the bug too much, dude. Gosh, what? What an autist, am I right, fellas? No, but if you were going around saying stupid shit like, wow, this ladybug is walking on a blade of grass, am I right, guys? Then yeah, I will, I will respond to that. Just get to the fucking critiques. Hey, Paul, look at that ladybug. It's, uh, it's walking on a little blade of grass. How cute is that? God, stop! You're making my fucking brain hurt, man! Continuing off the backbone of this terrible claim, he follows up by saying that if something is bad, you, you should let it be bad. And anybody who even tries to touch it is an idiot. No. Stop. Why are you overanalyzing this shit? Just make fun of it. It's laughable. There's no need to give a long-winded argument as to why they're bad. Just let the shit speak for itself. And anyone with a brain will realize it's retarded. You really are a two-faced liar. I never said that you should let something be bad. My video was literally critiquing another idiot's channel for fuck's sake. So obviously, I don't think that whatsoever. And to prove your autistic point, you decide to play the clip that I used from Dark Scythe without showing me the context to that clip in question. The same shit you want to criticize me for. What really gets to me is that this guy actually decides to take the time to overanalyze each of these idiots. But throughout the rest of 2016, he would upload a second and third video, which all had similar characteristics. The videos would be rather short, the art was very minimal, and the character was super simplistic. The backgrounds would be almost non-existent, outside of a few blurry PNGs here and there, but that was rather rare. Seriously, it's very similar to how there are idiots who take the time to overanalyze animation memes. If you guys went to a movie theater that played romantic movies, but every single romantic movie was exactly the same, it all had the same plot, it had the same soundtrack, the only difference was the actors and some of the scenery, would you let that slide? No? Exactly, that's what I was thinking. No. Stop. Why are you overanalyzing this shit? Just make fun of it. It's laughable. There's no need to give a long-winded argument as to why they're bad. Just let the shit speak for itself, and anyone with a brain will realize it's retarded. This is something I didn't really believe that Katoonster knew what the fuck he wanted. Like, on one hand, it seemed like he wanted to provide new context to the clip he showcased in his video, but on the other hand, he shows the entire clip of the video with the previous context intact, so it also felt like he wanted to keep the previous context involved while also applying it to, um, applying it to to this situation, which is completely different. Like, he tried to play off the concept of analyzing, I think, animation memes to making obvious observations with the presentation of other people's content were, like, were the same. When in reality, both sides of it just looks like the critic just didn't want to use their fucking brain and wants to be spoon-fed the most simplistic commentary possible. I didn't include the whole clip because, unlike you, I actually understand how pacing works as a creator. 
but if you want to avoid the whole confusing message that you were giving people, you might have, I don't know, uh, not wanted to involve that clip at all with your project, considering how it has nothing to fucking do with your video? Because it literally does nothing but act as a confusing irritant that detracts from your argument. I'm gonna go ahead and move on because I have nothing else to add here other than his initial point from his stacks video was so directionless and poorly made that I have no way of knowing what the fuck his intention honestly even was. So his claim that I'm a two-faced liar is just really nothing more than hot air to me. There are several things to bring up before going further. Firstly, he's made the argument prior in this video that whatever content he doesn't find personally appealing isn't meaningful. In fact, this is something he continues to perpetuate even towards the end of his own video. Most content on this website isn't meaningful. Yes, even my own content as well. Do you know how I know this? Because YouTube doesn't affect my daily life at all. It's just something I do in my spare time for fun. And if YouTube does have a legitimate impact on your life, then that's honestly just really sad. With the possible exception of making a full-time career on this website, but I don't think that's... I don't think this website is suitable for that shit unless you are someone like PewDiePie. But that's a video for a different time. By the way, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but he, he never made that video. This is just a dumb claim to me because it's so assumptive that everybody already agrees with him, and that's really the only way that these arguments can work. Meaning changes from person to person. For instance, I really don't give a shit about makeup. I personally just prefer a girl to not wear makeup as a whole because that's just my preference. But other women find meaning in wearing makeup. It might be a silly and pointless thing for me, but that's just my perspective of it. And you're allowed to disagree because that's just your perspective of it too. When you have a free platform made to support independent creators from across the globe, these creators are going to create what they want to and what they like to create. Under that pretense, these videos, at the very least, are meaningful to the creators that crafted them. So, assuming that nobody else in the world cared, which isn't fucking true, mind you. It's just inherently a false claim. As a matter of fact, you yourself took some pride in the Stacks video after you uploaded it, as per evidence through this fucking tweet. Nobody takes that much pride in themselves in something that they don't give a shit about. It, it just isn't fucking true. Believe it or not, content can have meaning. Whether you like it or not doesn't matter, that's not a factor in it, because meaning is founded on what you derive to be meaningful, and what you derive to be meaningful can usually stem from your personality or environment. The fundamental flaw in this is present when you just look at Stax's comment section. I brought this up before, but I'm gonna bring it up again just to get this just to get this concept through this guy's skull. Creators have reached out to him and have stated that his critique on them has somewhat influenced them. Creators like Jaden Animation, Sir Palo, Kitty Dog, Rosemary Tomato, Katsun, Belsky Bum, and just a robot have all reached out to Stack Slottle after engaging with that community. And yeah, granted, it doesn't work every time, that's just a given. But the fact that there's that interaction in the first place single handedly refutes your lazy arguments that, oh, these creators don't deserve to be fairly criticized, just make fun of them, because your efforts will just be futile. Again, I don't fucking care. It doesn't matter to me that a shitty community enjoyed this shitty content. Why do you keep repeating this nonsensical point that I haven't even made? Yes, I do think this his content is meaningless just like my content, but I never said that his videos are made in vain because that shitty community doesn't recognize his content. You keep refuting a made-up point and trying to claim victory, motherfuckers. That's actually what he says, goddammit. Katoonster, I honestly and genuinely do not give a single half-witted fuck if you care or not. If you didn't care, you wouldn't have even made that Stax video in the first place. So to suddenly act like you don't give a shit is a retarded cop-out, and I don't care what you say about that. Now that we have that quick message out of the way, let's actually discuss why I keep bringing back the content creator's responses to Stax Lottel. It's not a matter of if you care or not, it's a matter of Stax providing enough substance and meaning to his claims that contradict your narrative you set up over the course of the video by claiming that there is no more substance in the story time animation topic and that there's nothing left to talk about. As I discussed earlier, there is meaning in Stax critiques and even the eyes of the creators he's critiquing. What he is saying is significant whether you like it or not. So shut the fuck up for a second and use your alpha male brain to actually think about what is being discussed here today. Oh shit! 
You, you hear you hear that one, Katoonster? Shut the fuck up! That can only mean one thing. It's the time of the day where we read off all the amazing and supportive fan mail that we get, uh, that we always, of course, get over the course of the channel. Uh, let's let's open this bad boy up. What do you say, Katoonster? <laughs> Alright, so the first one comes from a young boy from the battlegrounds of Afghanistan who writes, Nice video, but please shave. Oh yeah? Well, at least I can grow hair, Turkey Thomas. You're just a cartoon, like the Walt Disney. I don't have to take shit from you. You aren't even fucking real. You're just a fucking trap. The next letter we have comes from a quite an uh, expressive young man who writes, That was dumb. Thank you for that, uh, incredible insight. I honestly, uh, I, don't, I don't know where I'd be had it not been for that one comment. Oh, oh, it's, it's okay, buddy. It's okay. Shh. I, I, it's alright. Let's, let's see if there's any fan mail in, in here for you, huh? It's, I'm, I'm sure there's something. There's gotta be something here soon. Wow, this video is bad. I'm not gonna explain why, because I don't feel like to, and PK is going to. I see you as the white that kid Douglas, and that is a bad thing. You tell lies and make the person you were arguing against look, and it is just makes you look like a dumbass. Get ready, you started a fight with PK and you will not win. With uh, with the reply being, you just threw up words in a comment. You didn't even take time to explain why or what he's doing wrong. Congrats. Oh man, they, they couldn't even let the boy have that much. Holy shit.